one. Hello, Facebook. Good morning, Success Through Scripture. We are live talking about the prayer of Jabez this morning. Right here is the book. Uh, we are all ready to discuss chapter five, which is keeping the legacy safe. So before we go around and share our thoughts and feelings and how this chapter really moved each person on the panel this morning, we want to open up in prayer and uh, give God the thanks for this Bible study, this collaboration, this community, and of course, any prayer requests uh, as well. P please be putting those in the group because people do pray for you and that's a great spot to do that. So Lenore, it's all yours. Okay, great. Thank you and good morning, everybody. So we're going to open in prayer and so, Heavenly Father, we just give thanks for you this morning. Thank you so much, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for just touching each and every one of us this morning, breathing breath into our body so that we um, can be available to you to be about your business today. So right now, I just want to bless this online Bible study, Father. Cover this Bible study uh, with the blood of Jesus and protect each and every one of us on the panel, each and every one that will tune in live and that will look at this Bible study on replay and um, allow us to just continue to grow and learn your word and grow closer to you and love on you like you love us unconditionally. So I just declare that this word will, the seed will be planted in each person that hears it it will be planted deep within their soul and in their spirit and that they will guard it with everything they have so that the seed can grow and grow and grow and blossom to be uh, the fruits of the spirit and allowing each and every one of us to go out and do God's business. So now this is my prayer. I release it knowing that it's already done and so it is in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and agreed. Thank you. Back uh, to you, baby. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, we're going to start this morning with Wanda. Wanda, you're on the hot seat because normally you go last. <clears throat> so I'd like for you to share just a few takeaways to, of the chapter, keeping the legacy safe. Oh, that you would keep me from evil. Go ahead, Wanda. You're up. Thank you, Kibi. Um, thank you, Lenora, for that wonderful prayer. Um, yes, um, keeping the legacy safe. One of the things that really touched me is that when we pray to keep the evil from us, not to pray through the evil or the temptations, but that he keeps that temptation and the evil away from us. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of reminds me of um, something that happened in our life as children. We were always told that um, you never, there's nothing wrong with loving. I mean, we love everybody. But if you don't put yourself in a situation where you're surrounded by people who do things that they don't need, you don't want to be involved in. Mm -hmm. you remove yourself from that situation and, and you stay out of, you know, out of that contact, then you don't have to worry about then their in, them influencing you into doing those things. Mm -hmm. So to me, that's kind of what I think about when I think about praying, um, asking him to keep us from that temptation. We just, he just keeps us from, that temptation coming to us so that we don't have to struggle through getting out of those problems. Um, so, and he asked when he, in his prayer in Matthew, that's the way he prayed for us to uh, keep us from temptation. So back to you, Kibi. No, this is good. And I see where you're going because it's easy to forget right? It's, this muscle is the one we probably forget the most daily because we, we pray when we're in the, in the trouble, right? <laughs> and sometimes we forget this, this part. But here we, through chapter one through four, we've, we're working more, we're working new muscles. We're, we're there. 
we're seeing the light, right? We're seeing results. And then we're not praying to keep us from evil because we're like, oh, I got this. We're back to, I got this again, right? Yeah. So in this, I can give an example, just being transparent. I'm very careful about what I let in my mind. I have a lot of responsibility for people. And I have to keep my mindset clean and pure so that I can deliver to people and keep them in the right direction. And one day my Facebook just started giving me all this news. I don't know news. I don't keep up with it. Don't care. I can't have that coming in my mind at all. I can't do that and stay on my game. Right. But it started coming in and I just started praying. So now I've been working this muscle before I even got this chapter, because when that happened to me now, before I start my day, I write my gratitude journal and I ask God, well, I pray the prayer of Jabez, but I focus on keep evil away from me. Um, it's a lot of it is online, right? Because in my news feed, all of a sudden, all this news started coming. And I was like, I ran to my husband and said, this is going on. He's like, where have you been under a cave? I'm like, I don't tune into this stuff because I don't want to see that. To me, it's it's that influence, Wanda. When we say the word evil, that's kind of harsh sometimes because I don't think everything's intentionally evil. But there is a lot of influence. Exactly. And the enemy is very, very deceitful. And he will come in and it is evil, but it looks pretty. It looks all pretty. So we have to be careful. And I love it. I love it. So just being transparent, I had forgotten to do my daily work. And here comes this news at me. And here I go reading and clicking and watching. And then I'm like drawn back. And it took me off my game for about two weeks, really. Mm -hmm. One day of that took me off my game. So I got to be careful. We all need to be very careful, right? Oh, yeah. Good stuff. And thank you, Wanda, for sharing. Okay, let's go next to Noel. What are your takeaways this morning? Well, hi, good morning. And first, I want to piggyback off what you were saying, because I do try to keep the news away. But in my house, that's not always possible. Um, but sometimes I have, because I just don't even want the energy of it right. within my space. Um, but I have to navigate that. But I'm not always the greatest with boundaries with people. And yesterday, boy, did I have to draw one hard. And it was ooh, a victory because I said no to the person. I said, no, I don't want to hear this. You will not speak it. No. And I was like, woo, because <laughs> that isn't always me. But I was adamant about not having this even I don't want to hear the words and I already knew the story. So I don't need it repeated mm -hmm. just to rehash it. Right. You know? um, and so this chapter here, um, this is something that's new for me because I feel like I've just pro used all kinds of ways to always ask for protection throughout my life even if it wasn't the prayer of Jabez. So I feel like I'm good at keeping it out. However, <laughs> there is the part in this chapter that's like, if you're comfortable, yes, then you're not pushing far enough doing God's work. Yep. And sometimes I like to be comfortable. <laughs> so even just, um, you know, when the author is talking about speaking with a seminary student and he said, it wasn't as hard as I thought I've been doing just fine. He said, well, I'm that worries me because that shows me you're no longer in the battle and Satan isn't worried about you anymore. But see, I never wanted to even speak that word. It was kind of like Voldemort to me. I just didn't want to hear it in my life. Right. However, this chapter also talks about how it shows up as pretty. Yes. And we are certainly enticed by pretty, right? Mm -hmm. And even another thing that you've turned me on to is, um, well, it's another spirit of Jezebel. And I see that in a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's up to me to cast it out, but I, I just see it. 
but that's for them to deal with, right? So, uh, but I can pray for them for strength through that, right? Yeah. So I have more, but I want to give other people a chance, but this was a really um, important chapter. Yes, and I may come back to you, but, and let me just say that the spirit of Jezebel is um, very strong in the ministry. So when you are doing God's work, the spirit of Jezebel wants to attack the mission, the mission. Now we learn in our coaching about our mission. What is our mission? Do you see the trickery of not knowing where you're going? That is the the spirit of Jezebel wanting to attack your mission. If the mission, if you don't know where you're going, you don't know your mission, how are you doing God's work? Not, right? So if there's division, um, divide and conquer among people, among missions, then it splits churches, Bible studies, everything, right? So I'm glad that you mentioned that because we here in this community need to be praying for protection of over our Bible study, over this community, right? Because we have a big mission here. We know our mission. We know where we're going. So thank you for sharing that, Noel. All right, let's go to Nicole. I'm chuckling a little bit following that. <laughs> okay. Noel and, and Kiwi. Well, I, I'm, I think probably the biggest struggle that I related to in this chapter is um, <clears throat> he talked about wisdom experience and then he talked about feelings. And I, uh, uh, to be a little transparent in my feelings and I feel like, well, gee, you know, I, should be able to overcome this, or I should, um, with my experience and wisdom, you know, I deserve to have this. And I uh, look at all this work I've done, Lord, you know, Mm. look at all this things that I've been through, or look at all this, um, personal development I've done. Look, look at what I've accomplished and why now am I experiencing and why don't I get to have the things that I think that I should have? And this has been like a, a huge, my ministry program, (laughs) you know, and talking about the things that, um, he praying for protection. I related to what you said, Noel, and I've learned to do that as a baby Christian. And I prayed protection over my family, you know, my business, my husband, my house, my, and I use those words, but never once did I say, keep it away. Never once did I evil away from my, my head, my heart, my, I didn't understand the difference, Mm -hmm. right? Pray that I could manage it as it came through. You know what I mean? Like that I would recognize the enemy speaking to me, not for him to stay away, not for him to like, not put these thoughts in my head. I mean, because I'm like you, Kibi, I'm very, I try to be very careful about what I put in my head, about my music I listen to, you know, the TV shows that I watch. And even some of that, I'm thinking, okay, I'm not in control of all those things. I'm not the only, not the only person in my house. Right. <sighs> but at no time did I, I'm not actually said to keep all of that away. Like even in the struggles with teenagers, have I prayed that? I mean, I didn't know. Right. I just pray, right. just protect them. <laughs> so when that, when it happens, not if, but when, that you would protect them. Well, that's a whole different strategy to say, just keep it from them. Yes. And this knowledge now, this, this prayer, this piece shifts something in me this morning, just listening to all of you and how, how God wants us. And what we're going to say that, that he longs to hear you plead for safekeeping from evil. Mm-hmm. I just never, like I said, I mean, how many times I've read through the Bible or been through studies, you know, earnestly praying about something, praying about programs, praying for my clients, praying for, you know, all of you. Did I ever pray to keep you from evil and not really understanding what evil, the word evil was, but just that things would go smoothly for you? Well, clearly that's not what he meant, but anyway, so it just... It's like an aha, gee, why didn't I ever think of that? Right. You know, in, in praying that over our mission. Anyway, so back to you, Kibi. I'm, I'm kind of in an aha moment at the moment. So, 
That's so good. I'm glad that we're all learning and picking up more things we can apply in our life. Okay, Lenore, what's your takeaways? Okay, great. Ooh, y'all. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you all have, oh man, it's really blessing my heart this morning. But um, what resonated with me is that, um, that we, um, when we are moving forward in ministry or moving forward in, to just to do the right thing um, and to, um, that we have to be, it says that we must be aware of the enemy's tactics and attacks on us. And so I had an experience, um, was it Monday? I think it was Monday. It was the beginning of towards the beginning of the week. So, and it was, and you know, it comes through not necessarily people that we don't know. It's people that we know mm -hmm. that are going to come and do something uh, to the left. So I, um, um, I'm, this was Monday. So, so I'm driving uh, uh, to an appointment and, uh, get a call from um, my uh, business partner uh, from one of my businesses. Um, and so they started coming at me about some, just something off, off the charts. And, and, and it, in the past, that would have thrown me and I would have went back at this person, but I'm listening. I'm very calm because also I'm having a, it, it was, you know, um, family matter going on this week as well. And so when I uh, hung up the phone, I'm like, okay, what was that about? And so going on, yeah, then I got another call again later on that day and they snapped, said something and just, it just was kind of interesting. So I'm like, well, what is this about? So I didn't do anything because one of my human intentions was to call back and say what? never it was that I wanted to say, <laughs> but I did not. So I said, okay, God, you, you just, you know, I'm a, I'm a lay it down and you show me what this is. So keep in mind that Sunday we had a powerful word. Okay. So now I'm a little, might be a little weakened in my spirit because I'm dealing with some family stuff and I'm a little exhausted from I won't say exhausted, but just not all the way 100 at the top of my game because I was uh, not feeling well this week. So uh, Spirit showed me that that was an attack on you and you have to guard yourself. Don't, because I just kept getting this thing. Don't worry about it. Let me handle it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. And so it was real subtle. So I'm saying that to say we have to, not only is it me, it's all of us when we are stepping out to do something, as Kibi said, uh, whether it's in ministry or just to be a good person, to be a person that God can, that we can be pleasing to God. So just that quick, from Sunday, great Bible study, great study of chapter four, and then Monday, and it was Monday morning. And I was really having a good day and was attacked. So we must protect ourselves from the enemy's tactics and be aware of it so that we don't react to it. We take action or step back and let God hand, do, do the heavy lifting and listen to what we need to do. So that was my takeaway, Kibi. And back to you. Yeah, that's great. And just knowing that you go with your intuition and what your gut saying and to sit back and watch and be still good stuff okay so before we hop off let's go back to noel because noel had a few more things to share thanks well i i really um enjoyed out of the chapter the reminders of you know when we're comfortable is that point it says your danger is not in being on the edge of a precipice, but being unwatchful there. So we can slip into comfortability in our life and not 
and and then you know the idea is that we continue to keep god's word in our life when things are going good because we cry out to god in agony and ecstasy but do we cry out to him in daily life and i love how this chapter just wrap it's got so much to it even back to adam and eve Mm -hmm. their, their perfect state and it took this one conversation disguised you know and I liked too I, I mentioned before that the evil comes in as pretty but here it says too um the nature of evil is to deceive us with a little bit of truth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so isn't it like sometimes that we see ourselves in a situation so we go oh yeah, and glomp on to the thing that we think is the comfortable or not listening to our intuition like Lenore and, and choosing the right, the, the path that is within us mm -hmm. that we've asked God to place within us because we take the easy route out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take the comfortable route, you know. But I just love that the, this, part of the chapter and um, Adam and Eve were, um, weren't any more prone to succumb to temptation than we are. In fact, unlike us, they were perfect in every way and none of their genuine needs were unmet. Satan approached the human race at its peak of promise and performance and crushed it with one friendly conversation. So I think we need to remember that when we're going out and, and taking on our mission that we are hearing from God mm -hmm. and not let that one, like Lenore said, that one interaction, conversation, thought, temptation, detract us. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Is it, and, and as we grow and mm -hmm. be, and I love what Nicole said, to keep it away, not even ask for the battle. Right. For, for protection in the battle. Yeah. So I want to encourage everybody because we are in chapter five. We're wrapping up the book, The Prayer of Jabez, um, that you write out the prayer. And it's what I did this morning mm -hmm. while Lenore was talking. Um, I want to write the prayer out on a sticky or something that I can just stick on my computer because I'm going to be here every day. And I want to declare and speak the prayer all together because this is pieced out here so if we don't when we stop reading the book what happens right so we need to go back and i just want to give everybody that tip this morning um also uh just to wrap up here before we close out in prayer that um the author is talking about oh keep me from evil jabez last request is a brilliant but little understood strategy for sustaining a blessed life. After all, as your life transcends the ordinary and starts to encroach on the new territory for God, guess whose turf you're invading? Which goes back to what really Noel um, drove home for us today. And that is that when we get, when we're out of our comfort zone and we're performing our mission, uh, we are in on the enemy's ground. So if the enemy is not trying or Satan trying to distract us, then we're comfortable. So just keeping that in mind that we're on, the author said, guess whose turf we're invading. Okay, so it's really clear uh, and defined. And uh, thank you for this Bible study. Thank you for all the support and everybody watching, catching the replay in our Facebook group. Be sure you're adding people to the group uh, and tagging them on the videos as well. So um, but when we exit uh, out in prayer afterwards, I'm going to go over our schedule and uh, what's to come up next. So go ahead, Nicole, if you want to close us down in prayer this morning. Thanks, everybody, Thank for you. your contribution. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> Thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for um, your precious and living word. Thank you for this uh, beautiful group of people who come together in your name every week. Um, to learn more about you, to learn more about ourselves, and Lord, um, your purpose in us. Father, just from this book, I'm pulling a little from these prayers here, Lord, that says to keep me from making mistakes. Lord, um, to keep 
me safe and this all of us listening, Lord, that you would keep me safe from pain and grief and that sin brings. Lord, keep me safe from temptations that pull up my emotions and my physical needs that call up my sense of what I deserve and what I have the right to feel and enjoy. Lord, it is your will that we seek um, the blessings for countless men and their families, Father, and everyone listening to this um, video today, Father, that you would bless them indeed. Um, Father, it is your profound and immo immovable purpose that your Holy Spirit is here, here now in the midst and moving already through the rows of people listening in their ears um, that are watching this video, Father, that you have come here to work a supernatural dimension and that we can barely comprehend what you have in mind. Father, for those of us that are struggling right now in the midst of um, temptation or pain, um, Lord, that you would be not only with them, Father, but as it says in Corinthians 10.4 that says, the weapons, um, the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of this world, but Lord, that it is contrary, and, and sorry, on the contrary, they, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. So Father, for those of you um, listening, and those of us maybe even on this call right now that are just dealing with some sort of stronghold, Father, that you would just break us free from that. Whatever those strongholds might be from us, from receiving what this prayer can actually do in our lives and those around us, Father, that you would break them free. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So next week is a skip week. We have Labor Day, so we will not meet on our Bible study next week. Uh, we will resume back September the 8th for prayer of Jabez chapter 6, and then September 15th chapter 7, that will close our book study out for prayer of Jabez. The following week will be September 22nd, and we will start Kevin Mullen's book. Um, and Nicole, do you have it handy so you can show everybody? We will also post a picture of it in the Facebook group. Uh, Kevin Mullen's, there it is, more than enough. Don't settle for what you're destined for. Uh, make sure you're getting that book you have from now till then so that you can read along with us. We'll be taking it chapter per chapter. Um, we can even post the schedule in the Facebook group so you know what chapter we're on. And the exciting news is um, around November 17th, we close out Kevin's book and he will actually be a guest speaker on our Bible study. So super excited about that. Uh, get ready, girls. We're, we're moving and growing. And you know whose turf we're, we're getting ready to invade. So let's keep everybody on the study, especially the panelists in prayer, please. Uh, we're asking for that uh, for protect, protection and to keep us away from evil and to bless the study so that our words will land on good ground and that we are messengers and vessels for God. All right. Thanks, everybody. Be blessed.